in America. Picture this, you're born into a family where politics isn't just dinner table conversation, but it's the air you breathe. This was the reality for John F. Kennedy Jr., the second child of the iconic president John F. Kennedy and his equally charismatic wife Jackie. The early years of John Jr. or John John as he was affectionately known, were spent in the grandeur of the White House. His father's presidency was brief but impactful, marked by a mix of international nuclear tensions and domestic unrest during the civil rights movement. Yet despite these struggles, the Kennedys managed to craft an image of glamour and grace, their personal touches in the White House leaving a lasting impression on the nation. John Jr. was barely three years old when his father's presidency came to an abrupt and tragic end. The memories of his father would be intertwined with the nation's collective memory of a leader who was as poetic in his speeches as he was strategic in his policy decisions. Yet, despite the national mourning that marked John Jr.'s early years, the Kennedys' allure remained as powerful as ever. But the world of John Jr. was not just about glamour and power. It was also about a deep-seated sense of duty and public service, inherited from a lineage that valued these virtues above all else. As a Kennedy, you were expected to make a difference, to leave a mark on the world. And this young boy, born into a world of privilege and power, was no exception. However, despite the captivating charm of the Kennedys, there was a darker side that could not be ignored. The family's history was marked not just by political success, but also by a series of calamities that led to whispers of a cursed family. This was the enigma that was John F. Kennedy Jr.'s life, a mix of privilege, power, and an undercurrent of tragedy that would come to define his destiny. The allure of the Kennedys, however, was not without its dark side. The Kennedy family, though blessed with power and prestige, was no stranger to tragedy. The shadows of sorrow were never too far from the family's doorstep, their lives intertwined with a series of unfortunate events that left a profound impact on each member. The Kennedy family's chronicle of misfortune began with the assassinations of two of its most prominent figures. The first, John F. Kennedy, was serving as the nation's president when his life was abruptly ended in Dallas in 1963. His brother, Robert Kennedy, met a similar fate five years later while campaigning for the presidency. Yet it was not just the public figures within the family who were touched by tragedy. John F. Kennedy Jr., the son of the late president, was only a toddler when his father was assassinated. Young John Jr. was thrust into the national spotlight during one of the nation's most somber moments, saluting his father's coffin as it passed by in a funeral procession. John Jr.'s life was also marred by personal loss. He lost his uncle Robert Kennedy to an assassin's bullet, and later his mother Jackie to non-Hodgkin lymphoma. His cousin David Kennedy died of a drug overdose and another cousin Michael Kennedy died in a skiing accident. Each tragedy seemed to strike at the heart of the family, leaving scars that were slow to heal. Despite the heartbreak, John Jr. and the Kennedys faced each adversity with resilience, a testament to their strength and determination. The Kennedy family's legacy, though filled with remarkable achievements, is also imbued with these moments of profound loss. For John F. Kennedy Jr., these personal tragedies would shape his life, influencing his character and how he navigated the world. The tragedies that marked John F. Kennedy Jr.'s life were not, however, the end of his story. In spite of the shadows that loomed over his family, John F. Kennedy Jr. forged his own path. In a world where his name alone could open doors, John chose to make his own mark, separate from the political dynasty his family had built. He started his career in law, a field where he could fight for justice and uphold the principles he held dear. Yet law was not his only passion. John had a creative streak, one that led him to the world of publishing. He co-founded George, a magazine that blended politics and pop culture in a way that was accessible and engaging. George was a testament to his innovative spirit and his commitment to making politics relatable to the everyday American. But while he was making waves in the professional world, John was also striving for something that seemed almost unattainable for a Kennedy, normalcy. He was determined to live a life that was as ordinary as it could be, given the constant media attention and the weight of his family's fame. He was often spotted cycling in Central Park, playing frisbee on the beach, or walking his dog in the city. These simple, everyday activities were a part of John's quest for normalcy, a testament to his desire to experience life beyond the confines of his family's legacy. But John's efforts were not just about escaping the Kennedy name, 
They were also about understanding and empathizing with the experiences of the average American. He believed that to serve the people, one must know the people. And so, he made it a point to live among them, to share in their joys and their struggles, their victories and their defeats. John's journey was not without its challenges. The specter of the Kennedy curse was always lurking, a constant reminder of the tragedies that had befallen his family. But John was not one to be deterred. He rose above the shadows, embracing the lessons of the past while forging ahead with hope and determination. Yet, in the end, even John could not escape the specter that haunted his family. The Kennedy curse caught up with him, casting a dark shadow over his promising future. Yet the specter of the Kennedy curse was never far behind. The Kennedy curse struck again, this time claiming the life of John F. Kennedy Jr. The loss was sudden, shocking, and seemed to echo the tragedies that had befallen the family over the years. John Jr., known to many as John John, was no stranger to the skies. He was a licensed pilot often seen navigating his own plane. He had a love for flying, a passion that tragically led to his untimely end. On a late July evening in 1999, John, along with his wife and sister-in-law, boarded a small plane headed for Martha's Vineyard. They never reached their destination. The plane, piloted by John himself, disappeared off the radar and plunged into the Atlantic Ocean. The news of the crash sent shockwaves across the nation. The boy who had once saluted his father's coffin, the charismatic scion of the Kennedy family, was gone. The grief was immense both within the Kennedy clan and across the United States. The nation mourned the loss of a man who carried his father's charm and mother's grace, and who held the promise of a bright future. Search teams combed the waters off the coast of Martha's Vineyard for days. The wreckage was eventually located and with it, the heartbreaking confirmation of the tragic end of John F. Kennedy Jr., his wife Carolyn, and her sister Lauren. The nation watched as once again the Kennedy family had to confront a devastating loss, a loss that seemed to echo the past, reminiscent of the tragedy of John's father and uncle. The circumstances surrounding the crash were examined extensively. Factors such as weather conditions, visibility, and John's experience as a pilot were all scrutinized. Yet at the end of the day, the grim reality remained. A vibrant life had been abruptly extinguished. John F. Kennedy Jr.'s untimely death was a tragic end to a life that was, in many ways, just beginning. His dreams, ambitions, and potential were lost in the depths of the Atlantic, leaving behind a legacy of what could have been and a nation in mourning. Despite his short life, John F. Kennedy Jr. left an indelible mark on the world. Known as the Prince of Camelot, he was more than just a Kennedy. He was a beacon of resilience and determination, navigating his way through the world under the weight of an extraordinary legacy. John Jr.'s foray into the media industry was a bold and unconventional move, especially for someone of his pedigree. As the co-founder and editor of George, a glossy political magazine, he demonstrated his knack for merging politics and pop culture, a testament to his innovative spirit. His unique approach to journalism was a breath of fresh air in a field often marred by cynicism and partisanship. Beyond the realm of media, John Jr. left a lasting influence on American politics. Although he never held public office, his very existence was deeply political. He was a living embodiment of the Kennedy legacy, a symbol of hope and potential. The public's fascination with his life and untimely death even decades later underscores the enduring impact he had on the national consciousness. But perhaps the most profound aspect of John Jr.'s legacy is his resilience. Born just weeks after his father was elected president, he spent his early years in the public eye, a life marked by unimaginable tragedy. Yet he never buckled under the pressure. Instead, he chose to face adversity head-on, using it as a springboard to forge his own path. His story serves as a powerful reminder that we are not defined by the circumstances of our birth, but by the choices we make in response to them. John F. Kennedy Jr.'s life was a testament to the power of resilience in the face of tragedy, a legacy that continues to inspire even today.